everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really lovely, what I'm calling a bouquet card. Um, it's using the supplies from the May Hobby Base kit, which has a wedding theme. So I've used this lovely paper, which was in the kit. These are the paper flowers, which I highlighted last week in the tutorial. I finished it with this ribbon and basically you just undo this. It's using just that whole piece of six by six and then it opens up to reveal this little sentiment, but all those flowers on the top. And I just think it's really nice. I just, I love it. It's very easy to make. It doesn't take too long at all. I've made the envelope as well, which I'll talk through because it is a little bit of an, an odd size. Um, but once you know what you're doing, you could easily obviously change that up. But I do think it works really well with the six by six. So once I finish doing this bow, we can crack on and make it. Okay, so you're going to need, um, I've got the Hobby Base Rose Dye, which was what I said was in the kit. Then we got all these paper flowers, which I used in last week's um, uh, project that I shared. Um, and I'd done them, sorry, I'm just sorting those out, with the gold over, which was the gold color that came in the kit. This time I'm inking them up. So I've done some here. <laughs> sorting them out these and they just take to the um, the ink so nicely and you can see there and I've popped the gold faceted gems in the middle of the yellow ones and this is just from my own stash just to kind of blend in but I'm kind of just working through those until I know kind of how many I need but basically what you need to do is get a piece of six. this is six by six and this was one of the sheets that came in the kit and I just thought that this worked really well as a nice um, kind of pattern that looks like it is kind of like you know a bouquet wrap so um this is i'm going to keep this on the inside because this would be where i can write my sentiment and basically the easiest way to do to explain this is you want to loosely fold them over on top of each other so it's forming like a cone so and just make sure you get a really nice point okay and then with your bone tool when you're happy your bone tool your bone folder when you're happy with where you want it. I'm going to put that one over the top actually. Just make sure you get it right to the the point there so you get a nice edge and then bring the other one over. They won't, you don't want it to line up there because that's not, you want it to look like a bouquet. So when you buy them in the shop and they wrap them, that's kind of how they will be. And we'll have that ribbon around it. So like that. So you can see there. So I've got a little bit, it's not gone right up to there because that's not how I want it to look. And now when it opens up, we'll be able to write our sentiment in here or here so you can stamp um, and so on and so forth. But that is the card. So that's really, really easy to do. So now it's all down to the decoration. And again, these colors, they just work really nicely against this. So um, you just want to basically just go and die cut or if you have these paper ones like I have, just get a variety of different sizes, different shapes. Um, with the rose die here, I'm gonna. These were the colours I die cut, but I think I'm gonna probably keep that that one in here. Maybe I'm not sure, but I am gonna be using. I die cut the leaves again on green, and I'm gonna nestle these in just to create some foliage. And I might raid my um, my own uh, stash of uh, like. Um, leaves and stuff just to maybe add a few of those in but I'm just going to build this up now get lots of stuff together and start putting it in place and show you what I come up with okay so I've had a play around and I've changed it <laughs> I've added in the gold that I had from last week I've die cut the leaves from the die in like a minty green and then I've actually added in just plain white ones because I think it just kind of just brings it down a little bit and it actually matches in better with this paper so what you want to do is when you stick them down because you want to be able to open this without it really catching on the flowers. So it's you need it to kind of sit in line. So if I kind of pull that away now, because I'll be working on it again. But where you've got your the top of your folds here, imagine there's an imaginary line there, or even put a faint pencil line along there. And make sure you keep all your flowers stuck above the top. Okay. You don't want to go out too far because it means you're going to have to make your envelope bigger. I mean, I'm going to talk you through that, but you do want to kind of keep it together. But I'm going to start sticking this down and I'm just going to speed up the video just so you can kind of see how I'm working on it.
Okay, so I'm really pleased with that. That's what I've put together. Really quite simple. I may add some more as we go. I'm not too sure. But I just use my hot glue for the big flowers and then I just use some of my wet glue, which is why it's on my hand, just to pop in the others there. And then when you open it up, I've got a few of the leaves coming down here as well into this area. Now this one here I've got, I want to use, I might put it there, I don't know what my sentiment will be yet, or it could look nice with the ribbon kind of bringing in the tie around that bit, so I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so I've just got this bit of ribbon here which matches really well, and I'm just going to, before I stick it down, I just need to decide whether I think I'm going to have it tying slightly off to the right hand side here so let's just roughly see how this is going to look so i want to stick it on the back so that the recipient does actually have to undo the bow i just think that's a nice little feature okay so it's going to be roughly like that don't worry if it slides off because obviously you're just going to push it up but now all i need to do i think that looks really really pretty is just pop some double-sided tape inside this piece here. So let me grab my, um, I'm just gonna put a tiny little strip of this red tape just inside the ribbon. Literally just a little bit, because it's so light, you don't need a lot. Like so, and then just peel the backing off. Like so. And then just, oh, without getting too stuck in it, pop it back in, but this time, you know, um, lie it against the bow because you don't want it to stick too soon. And then once you're happy that it's nice and lined up, keeping it all nice and straight, you can just stick that down. There we go. So I just need to clean up the, the edges there, but basically now when they receive it, they will then open up that. It doesn't fall off and it will reveal your message and the sentiment and everything inside. So I think this would look lovely as a nice way to do an invite as well. So if you're having a party, um, a very girly party, you could, um, or if you've got the patience to do your wedding invites or something like that, you could um, you could sit down and put these together. The actual card is easy. You saw how quickly you just got to make a cone shape. And if you die cut a load of flowers, they actually aren't that time consuming to do. So again there, I just, like I said, tidy up the ends of the ribbon, but I quite like that. And now, possibly, that could go above, maybe? No, I think I'm going to stick with that inside. Okay, so next now we need to make our envelope. Okay, so to make the envelope, there are two ways. So if you are following exactly what I've done here, um, and you haven't gone too far over the sides here, the width of my card ends up being four inches okay and then the length is nine and that's what you want to kind of stick to all i've done is i've got a piece of nine by 12 sit the envelope here and you can see and i've given myself a bit of room either side so along the nine inch side i've scored at four and a quarter and at eight and a half giving me a half an inch tab so that means it will wrap around um and still have a little bit of room but if yours is a bit bigger then you would cut this to maybe 10 inches and you could score at four and a half and then at nine and then have, you know, or nine and a half inches, for example. You know what I mean? You can extend this quite easily. And again, along this length, I've scored at three quarters of an inch and at 10 inches. And that's then the card sits in perfectly. It's given me a two inch flap to flap over the top and then a three quarter inch bottom. But again, if yours is longer, you could easily just have a one inch um, flap or even a half an inch if you've gone really tall. So by doing it this way, it's very easy to adapt it to fit what you're gonna do. But like I said, I scored here at three quarters of an inch and at 10 inches. So take away the scoreboard and we just need to burnish all of these score lines. Okay, and then with the half inch tab on your left hand side here, we're going to remove this piece along the top. So just with my scissors and I'm just cutting, so I'm removing the score line all the way along to that score line there. So you've got past that score line to the second score line and then cut down. Okay, so I've just removed all of that. Then again, tabs on the left hand side, 
down the bottom here you will have this very small little rectangle in the corner just remove that and then directly below here so this piece here we're going to take that out so just cut up like so and then remove that whole piece like so okay then I just want to tidy up my corners here so I've just got my corner punch and I'm just gonna round those off and then what you want to do is flip it over so this is now on the left hand side and you'll have your two tabs here and you just want to pop some tape on the tops of those so this is one in um, half an inch tape so it fits perfectly along that tab and just take a little wedge off of them as well just so you kind of you won't have any of this overhanging take it off the bottom one there as well okay and again okay so that's what you should have and then you want to remove the backing from both of these pieces because we're going to stick it all down together flip it over fold that one in and fold that one up as you fold that one up if you sit that one over the top it will stick to it already like so so it's already creating a little pocket there and then bring this over and if you start sticking it on the end here first and then you can just work along and get the rest all stuck down. Ooh. Try not to stick your fingers onto it. <laughs> there we go, like so. And then that will fold over and then that will sit nicely inside. Like that, just caught on the bottom. So now you can just run some double-sided tape on there and stick it over, write the address on it. On this side is you can post that it would obviously cost a little bit more but that's ready to go but just before we finish I want to add a little sentiment inside now we did get happily ever after in the um, kit which I used last week but I just I don't know I'm gonna basically I've just got this little celebrate one and I'm just using some of my versafine and I'm gonna ink it up now if you want to do this first or put it in your stamp positioner then do so but I'm just going to go for it so fingers crossed <laughs> this is going to work but I'm putting it in the center and that ribbon's a bit bulky but it should still work I'm just going to rock it slightly Whew. it's okay right quickly remove the versifying because this stuff is lethal I've dropped it on projects before and there we go, so I've just put a little celebrate. So now I can write to and from, I can put some stuff on here as well if I want to. And that has dried already, so that can all be tied back up. Okay, and there you have it. I think this is a gorgeous card. I think it's really pretty, it's really different, and you can really kind of customize it and um, you know make it match a theme or anything really, but I think they're gorgeous. So I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And as always, if you're interested in joining the Hobby Base Club, all of the links um, are shared in the video description below. Thanks for watching, bye.